Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, stories, and trends from within the digital infrastructure industry. And we are coming at you from Data Cloud USA, co-located with Metro Connect in beautiful downtown Austin, Texas. And this good looking guy next to me is British billionaire industrialist, chairman and founder, CEO of Langley Holdings, Anthony Langley. Anthony, what are you doing here? Uh, good morning, Dean. Good morning, <laughs> sir. What am I doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? Well, you know, there's uh, there's a lot going off in this space right now. And, well, yes. You know, this is this is like the California gold rush. What's happening in you know with AI and uh, you know with the explosion in data centers yes. and stuff, and um, I I just kind of need to be here to see what's uh, you know, you know see what's real and uh, what's not real, yeah, uh, and how does it uh, how does it affect our group? I love it, I love it. So let's start with what's real. What's real? Okay, uh, well there's uh, what's real is that there's a lack of power for data centers. Uh huh. That's the biggest single issue that, uh, that the sector is facing mm -hmm. right now. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, grid connections uh, five, 10 years away. Uh, nuclear, probably the same amount of time. And then, uh, you know, then the typical behind the meter power solutions, uh -huh. 500 meg up, upwards, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the turbine, yeah. the turbines. And then beneath that, you've got, um, Reset engines, mm -hmm. um, and uh, way down beneath, at the bottom end of that, you've got you've got the high speed engines. You, you know, sort of the the cats, the MTUs, mm -hmm. and they're mm -hmm. kind of topping out at around about three and a half meg. Mm -hmm. This is where our business, Bergen Engines. Let's talk about that. Starts. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, you are solving for that power problem, like right now. We are. We uh, are. How are, how are you doing it? So, well, just a little bit about. Us, please. We we employ about five thousand people around the world, eighteen manufacturing sites, and in twenty twenty one we acquired uh, a company called Bergen Engines. Mm -hmm. Heard of from, them. yeah, yeah. Formerly Rolls Royce Bergen yeah. Engines. Yep, yep. For previous twenty years, yeah. Uh, and before Rolls Royce, they were the Rolls Royce of medium speed engines. Okay. Now these are not to be confused with um, the high speed engines that we. You know, we're talking mm -hmm. about CAT and, mm -hmm. and MTU. These are the big brothers. You know, a typical CAT uh, three and a half meg engine gen set will be weighing in at maybe 25 tons. These guys are 175 tons. They are big. Sounds <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. And, they're too, and, and at 60 hertz, they're 11.2 megawatts. Mm -hmm. So that's our building block. And um, Bergen Engines is part of our power solutions division mm -hmm. along with uh, Morelli Motori. Okay. Uh, it's Italian. <laughs> Sounds it. Sounds like a Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. They uh, Morelli Motori we acquired in 2019. They uh, manufacture large alternators. Mm -hmm. uh, they actually produce quite a lot of the alternators for cats and their and their smaller generators. Okay. But uh, they produce the the alternators that are going on to the Bergen engines. Uh, and that's our building block. That's what yeah. we've that's what we've got on offer here. Uh, and what we've done is we've um, we've gone from a build to order model to to get ahead of the game, mm -hmm. you know, because we can see what's happening here. Yeah, you know, everybody is hungry for power. Yeah, and every conversation I've had. Yeah, through to the final conversation I'm having with you somebody at some point mentions power yeah. as being kind of the linchpin, the biggest issue, the biggest challenge that we're facing. And nobody really seems to have a grasp on when it will no longer be the biggest challenge. Well, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, time to power with, with our uh, power solution, the Langley power solution, Langley, Bergen, Morelli. I'll talk about the third leg of our stool just mm -hmm. in a moment. Please. But we're talking time to power, uh, 18 months. Mm -hmm. uh, and that means uh, an LOI signed today right here uh, would mean delivery to site uh, Q4 next year. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, power um, Q2 27. Right. Yeah. 
And that's pretty quick. That's damn quick. Yeah. Pardon my French, but that yeah. is that's pretty damn quick considering. And, and you know, we're, we're talking 11, 11.2 megawatts. So, so essentially 11 megawatt building blocks. Yeah. Okay. So there's the power. Um, typically 100 to 500 megawatts is, is our is our sand pit. Uh-huh. Um, above that, you know, you, you know, you, you, you're talking big turbines and, yeah, yeah. and stuff, but, but this is a modular solution, you know, so you can start with uh, 50 meg. Yeah. Or you can start with 150 and, and you can build. And, uh, we've, uh, we've just put the, the, the first deal is underway right now for a data center in Vineland, New Jersey. Okay. It started life as 150 megawatts. It became 200 megawatts. It's going to be 400 megawatts. And that's all in the space of three months. Scale is yeah. a big problem too. Well, and it sounds like you well, got that figured out. Yeah, well, that's that's right. Well, yeah. the you know, Microsoft have signed the head lease now. Uh, and and they've said, you know, we need to go. Yeah. So so you know, we're gonna be putting um, we're gonna be putting four hundred meg into that in, in eleven meg uh, blocks that right. sounds real to me yeah, it, it, <laughs> it is yeah now most behind the meter power solutions the guys that are providing these are not providing them to data centers until now data centers have been plugging into the grid data centers have got a very specific requirement for their power mm -hmm. it's not utility power it's conditioned power AI is presenting a particular set of challenges yeah. for the power business because AI is spiky like nobody has ever seen. Yeah. And the third leg of our stool is a company that we've owned since 2004, Pillar Power Systems in Germany. Pillar Power Systems is the gold standard of power conditioning. Pillar equipment is installed in the Federal Reserve, the New York Stock Exchange, the Bank of England, you name it, even the CIA. Mm -hmm. Those guys are not wrong. Yeah. This, is, <laughs> this is the gold standard yeah. of power stabilization. Um, now, the, the industry, the guys here will know that name, Pillar. Mm -hmm. uh, Colo and, and Hyperscale has moved away from that technology, which is a, um, it's a dynamic technology. They've moved away to a static battery solution, a cookie cutter approach. It's, uh, and, and Pillar occupied, I would say the top, um, the top block of, of a pyramid, mm -hmm. uh, which since we bought that business 20 plus years ago has grown exponentially. Our Pillar business has grown significantly but nothing like the way that uh, you know colo and hyperscale right, right. have so the pillar equipment is ultra mission critical stuff mm -hmm. what we're finding what we've discovered is that the pillar dynamic technology lends itself perfectly to these ai loads this so if you think in terms of, you know, an AI load being spiky, yeah. this smooths out the spikes. And it does it, it does it without any degradation because this thing is mechanical mm -hmm. and it'll keep on doing it for 20 years. So, so we've got as a power uh, solution provider, we've got a, we've got a deep knowledge mm -hmm. of this sector. Yeah. And that's why I'm here. You know, to just to you know touch and feel the thing for real. You know, to see to see what it's like any other gold rush. You know? Yeah, yeah, some, yeah. Some of it's some of there are a lot of dreamers. Well, it's 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 funny you should say that, Anthony, because like uh, you know, for for as long as I've been in the, in the industry, and it, you know, back when it, we called it you know telecommunications and then kind of digital infrastructure, there was always there was always kind of what's real or what's mature yeah. and what is not mature and yeah. there and there are and the, and the entire that entire path is marked with things that we thought or the industry thought 
was mature and ultimately it went away yeah. because it never actually matured because there was a new solution, a better solution that leapfrogged it almost before it ever actually became, um, before it ever actually had any impact. This feels different. It does. I agree, I agree with yeah. that. You know, there's a lot of talk about, is it a bubble? Yeah. I don't, right, right. I don't, I don't think it's a bubble. Yeah. In fact, I don't think the, the internet bubble wasn't actually a bubble. Never. Right. You know, it was maybe a balloon that got overinflated yeah. and then deflated. Yeah. But it's still, you know, it, it was still there. Yeah. But, you know, so so we had the internet in late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, everybody got excited about that. Yeah. And then when the party was over, everybody got a hangover for a few years. Yeah. But then it caught up. And then the next thing that happened in this space was um, smartphones. And, and apps yeah. and Uber and and, and everything and, yeah. and everything else. Now AI, this is the next big thing, and this I believe is eclipsing everything that's gone before it. it. Yeah, I don't even know how you can compare it to everything that's come before because it is fundamentally a new way of doing everything. Yeah, not just a new way of communicating, not uh, just a new way of disseminating information or even data collecting. Yeah. It is a new way of doing everything mm. and and it's happening and, and and we're not stopping it and folks like you um are actually making it more mature making it a bigger reality those realities those miracles of ai the miracles yeah. of, of that does not happen unless we can solve for that power issue the cooling issue we're gonna we're, we're solving for it there's there's innovation there the power getting to the power getting the power the uh, the amount of power where that power needs to to be that's a that's a problem that we're we're going to be presumably talking about 10 years from now yeah 10 10 years from now you know the grid's going to have caught up maybe i yeah, don't know yeah. nuclear will be here maybe yeah, yeah but in the meantime you know the, the sector needs power and yeah. they need it now yeah and yeah. um you know like we like like we say on the strap line yeah we have the power <laughs> yeah that's it that's it anthony so what so what i'm saying to people here we need to sort the wheat from the chaff. You know, we've, we've seen three times the amount of capacity that we have to produce engines. We yeah. can produce about a gigawatt next year. I say to, every, to everyone that's shown interest on the booth right here, if you're serious, you sign an LOI. Mm -hmm. It's going to cost you $600 per kilowatt. It'll be a 10% non-refundable non-negotiable deposit that will buy you a three month uh, grace period to get a contract in place with us and in exchange for your 10% deposit you will know exactly when you're going to get your engines fabulous that kind of sorts them out a little bit yeah, got, no, I, absolutely yeah that 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 is they've a, got, you know so basically you got 12 weeks to to you know to get your get your act together to get your funding in place to finalize a contract with us but you know we're in the business we're, we're in the business of building engines and and gen sets here we're yeah. in the business of providing power there's a lot of froth <laughs> there's a lot of dreamers yeah and that's good a lot of prospectors this is yeah. a gold rush yeah you yeah, know? yeah yeah but we've got the shovels well that that uh that level of transparency i haven't seen that so uh, it's a pleasure uh, speaking with you, there you uh, go. Anthony. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Nice and to talk. It's a pleasure. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. So from Data Cloud USA, Metro Connect, and my new friend, Anthony, we're saying so long, and we will see you very soon.